Uh, Alright, we're here today, we're heading to Princeton Records. I decided I wanted to have a fun little idea with my pals here. I wanted to give them $50 a piece to see what they could pick up for me, little old me. So Spencer and Tim will be going in there, seeing what they can get, while I actually enjoy myself and take a couple of hours and uh, really dive in. So let's see what they do. All right, so we're done. We're gonna go through what I got real quick before we go through what these idiots ended up getting me with my hard-earned money. Uh, first things first, Simpsons season Halloween. five. Got to go with this whenever I go to Princeton. I end up getting one of these. A little self-defense family. Gonna do a video on them at some point soon. Don't have any of their records, but I'm glad that I got this seven-inch uh, indoor wind chimes and cottaging. Uh, Regional Jertis Center, uh, should be Justice Center. Never heard of this one. I know the band very well, obviously. It's Ian Shelton of Military Gun, but I've never seen this 7-inch out in the wild at all. Um, so I decided to pick it up because great band. New LP coming this year at some point, so gotta stay up on it. Another video that'll be coming soon on the channel, fucked up. Got this for stupidly cheap $10. I really did like this from last year, but I didn't feel like paying full price. So uh, 10 bucks in comparison to 22, not too bad. Great, great post hardcore. Blacklisted, just did a video on this band. Wish I was able to get this before we did the video, but whatever, the bygones be bygones. This album is great. Uh, weird post hardcore stuff going on here, especially considering they are a hardcore band in general. Um, Really interesting grunge sounds on this one. It's awesome, big, big fan. Also, I forgot the title of it. Uh, no one deserves this more than I do. Great record. Blend, brand new here. It is, uh, I always mess this up. It's plastic, it's glass beach, plastic death. I do that every single time I mess it up. Fantastic album. I didn't pre-order it because uh, I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but I love it. So I'm glad that I was able to get one without paying for shipping. Huge, good stuff little karate action here uh, got some yeah this is uh, a good unsolved good record good record um gonna do a video on them at some point soon in a little while but don't really have too much of the discography decided to fill it out and get this and finally probably the most important here i finally pulled the trigger and got tim by the replacements fantastic uh, album one of my favorites um perfect all the way through um yeah here comes a regular probably one of the best closing songs of all time Happy with my haul. Good stuff. Let's cut to Spence and see what he got. All right, so we got some goodies. Um, I don't know the, can't remember the band nor the album name, but there's one song on here that I really like. Um, it's it's in French though, so I can't I don't know I can't say the title. It's like you know I'm not gonna say it, but it's good. I was excited to find it. Here we got a new track from DJ Seinfeld. What's now the deal you do. with? Uh, it's got four different mixes of the song, and it's a banger. It's certified club classic. Very excited to find this. Um, picked up a, another certified classic, "Gonna Make You Sweat," also known as "Everybody Dance Now." Um, gonna be a good one. Here, uh, we're getting to the part where I don't really know what they are. Uh, Let Yourself Go, Club Mix Radio Mix by Seibel, Sybil. Um, it was, it looked cool, and I got it. Uh, here we have um, Deno Valley, Richard Donasso Progress Trap Black Vinyl. Um, it's the 10th album of the US-based experimental electronic producer. Again, just looked really cool, um, and I just wanted to get it. I like the art also. Um, yeah, let me he's down here. Good call. Summer's Gone, 10th Anniversary Edition by Odessa. Uh, been wanting to pick this up for a long time, and it was in like the, the discounted section. It's new also, so that's pretty exciting. Um, really great. Some really great tracks on here. Just a good summer album. Gonna be spinning this all summer long. Now for the, uh, the goodies I got for our buddy. It's uh, it was only fitting on the day of the the lead, the one of the vocalist deaths. We got Can. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna even say the name of that, but uh, it's, you can read it. Or I mean, they can read it. Yeah, yeah. Includes vitamin C and spoon. Um, it's a classic. I like this album a lot. Um, Damn, I don't I, have it. Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if Luke's ever listened to it. So I have not. I have not listened to it. Hopefully he'll enjoy it. It's a good one. Just like kind of put on and chill out. So um, just kind of like you can just exist while, it's, while you're listening to it. You don't need to. You can pay attention or not. And you're going to get some incredible musicianship from it. 
Kraut Rock. I know a lot of people don't like that term, but it's pretty funny to me. Uh, and here we have Jeff Carney, live electronic music. So it's like a 1989 uh, record. Pretty, it's just completely like blew, blew the industry on, on its head in terms of like the live, live performance. Um, like the anal original, original analog tapes of it. And, That's sick. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I've not pretty, heard of that before. Yeah, obviously I knew he he had never, probably never heard of it, and definitely doesn't have it. Yeah, absolutely but, um, not. Side one, 20 minutes long. Let's go. One song, you know Let's it's going to be one. We're back. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the haul. Damn. <clears throat> we are rolling with Timmy. All right, to start us off, I got a Plastic Beach. As the only enjoyer and defender of 2017's Humans, I have to save some face by getting like an actual good Gorillaz album. Oh my God, he just said it. Um, my uncle was actually going to be in the music video for Rhinestone Eyes, but they animated him with British teeth. And that just didn't go well. Um, great album though, probably their best if I had to say. Uh, and now I'm just filling out the uh, Mac collection, except for all like the five and 10 year anniversaries they keep pumping out. I, I, I'd parade his corpse as much as the next guy, but at some point you got to take a stand. Uh, great album though. Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, all right, now for the for the spinning archive, I got a uh, Can't Buy a Thrill. This is a banger. I it's it's no Asia, but they didn't have it, so. Thank God I already had Asia too, too. Uh, so this I is figured, perfect. This yeah. is great. Damn, yeah. hell yeah. Um, Reeling in the years, enough said, but... Never heard of it, can you sing it? Uh, no. I lost my voice box with my uncle as well. Dying the life of on a Trobrexit gazer. Um, but yeah, total, total banger, love it. Gonna, gonna get great as this weather gets warmer. Um, and yeah, time out. Ooh, sweet. I, uh, I, I listen to this a lot. This is a, this is a heavy Sunday album, if you know what I'm saying. Um... Take five, Blue Rondo. It's it's all great. No, like it's it's very chill, and I could definitely get behind this, like reading a book or like maybe doing some knitting, something like that. You don't yeah. get a lot of the people. They know you don't read. I'm learning though. I, I'm learning. I I know it comes after L, but then after that it gets a little confusing. Yeah. Cool, so that's it. Uh, don't really have an ending here. Um, didn't really plan this out at all, as you can obviously see. Uh, but fun little experiment. Um, out of the two, I, I don't know who got me the better record simply because uh, outside of the Steely Dan one, I have not heard any of them. So uh, actually, you know, just for that, Tim wins for Steely Dan, but that could change soon. We could be, he's, he's excited over there right now. Uh, that could change very quickly, who knows? I could listen to that electronic album and slap Tim in the face for wasting that money that I gave him so graciously to spend on me. But uh, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. So uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Maybe we'll do something like this in the future. Maybe if I get a sponsorship, I can actually get some money to put toward these dumb little videos. And if not, uh, it'll never happen again because I'm never going to have this kind of money. So uh, until next time, uh, happy listening.